The Universal Transverse Mercator Projection, or just UTM, is one of the most widely used map projections. But what is it and how does it work? The UTM projection is a cylindrical map projection. So what type of projection is that? We can place a cylinder around the globe. Now imagine if we place a light source at the center of the globe and shine out onto the cylinder. Features of the globe would be projected onto the inside of the cylinder. Now we unroll the cylinder into a flat map and we have created a map projection. The UTM projection is in the same family of cylindrical map projections, except it is transverse. That is, the cylinder is perpendicular to the normal aspect. To create the projection within each UTM zone, a central meridian is defined. The UTM projection is a secant projection, that is, the cylinder does not touch the Earth at one point, but instead intersects the Earth at two points. The secant lines, or standard lines, are 180 kilometers east and west of each central meridian. The scale factor of the standard lines is 1, meaning a distance of 100 meters would be the same on the map projection. The scale factor of the central meridian is 0.9996 meaning a distance of 100 meters would be 99.96 meters on the map projection. Therefore, there is a small distortion at the center of the zone and then decreases to no distortion at the standard lines before again increasing beyond the standard lines towards the edge of the zone. To create further zones, the cylinder rotates to create each zone. So it will rotate 59 times from its initial position. The UTM projection divides the Earth's surface into a series of zones. The entire globe is divided into six degree longitudinal strips, resulting in 60 UTM zones worldwide. Zones are numbered from west to east, starting at the international date line and extend from a latitude of 80 degrees south to 84 degrees north. UTM is therefore not one, but 60 projections, and each UTM zone has its own unique parameter set. The central meridian is a specific line of longitude that runs through the center of the zone. The zone is three degrees wide either side of the central meridian. In each zone, coordinates are measured in meters north and east and are therefore called northings and eastings. For northern hemisphere zones, the northing is the distance in meters from the equator. To avoid errors and confusion, UTM does not use negative numbers. So for southern zones, the equator is assigned an arbitrary value of 10 million meters. This value is called a false northing. The values therefore decrease away from the equator. The central meridian of each zone is given a false easting of 500,000. Grid values to the west of this central meridian are less than 500,000, to the east more than 500,000. Published UTM maps like USGS topographic maps often display both latitude, longitude and UTM grid coordinates. UTM coordinates are easy to use and they work with almost all GPS devices. Conversions and measurements are straightforward, however distortions will increase moving out of the zone and as each zone is an individual projection, zones cannot be combined, therefore UTM is not suitable for large areas covering several zones. So that's a broad outline of how the UTM projection works. And if your map area falls within one UTM zone, using this projection can be a good choice. The UTM projection is a conformal map projection, which means it preserves shapes and angles, making it suitable for engineering, boundary, and other detailed maps. And if you wanna know more about conformal map projections and all about coordinate systems and how they work and when to use them, then take a look at the Spatial Monkey Coordinate Systems and Projections online course. Link in the description.